Hey everyone, it's uh, Crust here from Recharge Wrestling. Um, last but definitely not least, here are my predictions for the Royal Rumble 2022. I'm not sure if you've watched yet, but check out Keeney and Fisher's predictions. Uh, they did theirs before me. So, sort of going down the same order, um, we have Becky Lynch versus Doudrop um, for the women's title. And similar reasons to the other guys i can't see becky lynch breaking um her championship reign before wrestlemania i just think they're going to want a, a large champion um so i honestly think that becky is going to retain here i think it's quite an easy one to be honest i um i just can't see her dropping it to do drop although do drops done a sterling job and i really like the freshness of this um feud i just can't see becky dropping the belt this early um, following on in the order, we've got Edge and Beth Phoenix versus uh, Miz and Maurice, which I'm actually really enjoying this. It's something new. It's nice to see Beth Phoenix back in, back in the ring. I had mixed opinions of this one. I feel the way it would have ran normally is that Miz would have got a sneaky win last time when she was against... Um, sorry. Yeah, Miz against Edge last time. But he didn't. Edge got the win, so... That does make me think, are there going to be some super shenanigans and are they going to drag this out to Mania? Or who knows how long they'd, they'd like to drag it out. But to be honest, I think this feud is probably going to end soon. Um, and I can't see Beth Phoenix losing in her first sort of in-ring return. So I'm going for the Brit couple, Edge and uh, Beth Phoenix, to, to pick up the win here. So this is where it gets really juicy. I have thought long and hard about these uh, these predictions and I keep changing my mind. So it just came to a point where I just thought, right, I've got to write these down and that is what I'm going with. It's kind of out there because, compared to what, <laughs> what I'd normally do. But I thought, what's the point in playing safe? This is a, I, in a way, it's quite a, I suppose, a dream outcome for me. I think it'd be quite cool. So we're going into the men's title matches now. So let's start with Lesnar versus Reigns. Um Again, I flipped these back and forth. Basically, whichever one I went with a retain, the other one was going to, to change hands. So I'm going for Lesnar to retain here. Um, I'll explain a little bit more after I've, I've made my Rumble picks. So I think Brock Lesnar is going to retain his championship against Bobby Lashley. My, um, my prediction for Seth versus Roman, um, I'm going for Seth Rollins to win that belt um i know i'm a massive seth fan and i really want him to win but i honestly think this could play out really well i think any any outcome here at the rumble this is such an incredible rumble where i think it's unpredictable which is just so good in wrestling i think we're in such a good time at the moment with wwe and AEW, where everything's so unpredictable um it just makes it so much more exciting so i hope you guys are as excited as we are um so yeah seth to pick up the win there may be a surprise to some of you um, so I am then going, let's start with the men's rumble then. So because of the picks I've chosen, this gives me the choices. If it was the other way around in the title matches, this would be the opposite. So first more, more, more we get two picks in the rumble. So a more simple one, I'm going for Big E. Big E is one of my choices. I think he lost the belt too early. So possibly he would have, um, He'll win to get that WrestleMania moment that he maybe deserved. So the more wild card, as I've um, predicted Roman Reigns to lose the belt to Seth, I think he's going to enter the Royal Rumble and win it. I think the way this is going to play is that Haven would have been the person who got him into the Rumble by pulling the strings. I think he's then going to go on to win it and then challenge Lesnar, who retains, to... Um, at WrestleMania to give them that massive match at Mania, Lesnar versus Reigns. You can't get any bigger really at the moment unless you get someone like The Rock. But to be honest, I think Lesnar versus Reigns, the way they've been on camera and um, working on the shows is just amazing. So I think it would be the biggest main event you could you could ask for. So this then leaves what happens with Seth. Seth's already said he may go to Raw uh, with the belt if he wins it. I think he'll go to Raw, which then retains Lesnar and Reigns' stardom on SmackDown. I then think you may get someone like Drew McIntyre come back for Mania and face, join in that match between Brock and uh, Reigns even, which could make it even bigger. Um, who knows? 
But I think with Seth winning, the way you get his challenger and how you get Bobby Lashley sort of back in the picture uh, and a pickup after Lesnar um, is in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, in the Elimination Chamber. I think they're gonna ha- they would have a match or could have a match would be awesome to decide who will face Seth for the title at WrestleMania. And I think that would be a brilliant build. It's pretty wild, the fact that Reigns is going to enter and then win, but stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. So uh, on to the the women's Rumble uh, match. I don't think I missed any others out. So again, I've changed this so many times, but let's go straight in with a safe one. Bianca Belair is my choice to win. I think like the fact that she... Lost at SummerSlam, so easy to Becky. This just gives her such a good run to up to face Becky. Um, and hopefully then win the title offer and um, maybe break this heel Becky Lynch um, phase that we're going through. So my second choice was really difficult because I've been batting back and forth with whether which basically which unannounced person is going to come back. Is it going to be Oscar? Is it going to be uh, Bailey, Or is it going to be someone even crazier like uh, Ronda Rousey so I'm actually going to really go out on a whim here and I'm going to say Ronda Rousey is going to enter and win the Royal Rumble as my other pick Um, I really think it could be Bailey, but I I just think if if there's a time for Ronda to come back it's going to be now when the WWE are really hitting hard uh, trying to get the big names in the big stars ready for Wrestlemania Ronda Rousey to win the uh, Women's Royal Rumble And I think that's um, all the predictions. Apologies if I've missed any. Obviously, this is going out before SmackDown, so I may change my mind. Um, I'm not too sure whether I'll actually post different ones on the Twitter, but I don't think I'll be allowed. So here's my my predictions for this year's Royal Rumble. Um, Send in your tweets at Recharge Wrestle, what you think. Uh, Comment on on YouTube videos. Yeah, and um, look out for the podcast that will be released on Friday in the YouTube video that follows up. Thanks.